Welcome back guys. Before I start my video tutorial, I would like to mention the fact that guys, after this video tutorial, don't forget to subscribe. So in today's video tutorial, I will be looking at this crispy topic over here. Addition formulae. 7.1 represents chapter 7, section 1 of the Pearson A-Level Maths, Pure Maths Year 2 textbook. Let's start off with the addition formula for sine. So we could have a plus b in the bracket, a minus b in the bracket. The first one, okay, that there is equivalent to sine a cos b plus cos a sine b, okay. Second one, sine in bracket a minus b is equivalent to sine a cos b minus cos a sine b. So you've got the addition formula for sine. Let's have a look at the addition formula for cos. So you could have a plus b in the bracket or a minus b in the bracket. The first one, cos a plus b in bracket is equivalent to cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. The second one is equivalent to cos a cos b plus sine a sine b okay there you have it we've got the addition formula for cos let's have a look at the addition formula for tan now ladies and gents so we could have a plus b in the bracket or a minus b the first one tan a plus b in bracket is equal to tan a plus tan b all over 1 minus tan a tan b. The second one, tan a minus b in bracket is equivalent to tan a minus tan b all over 1 plus tan a tan b. Right, these are the addition formulae for sine, cos and tan respectively. They are given in the formula booklet so you don't need to memorise any of these. Now, I am going to be applying these addition formulas to questions. Right, okay, I've got question 1, question 2, question 3. Let's start off with question number 1. It says a student writes sine in bracket a plus b is equal to sine a plus sine b. Show that this statement is false. Right guys, to show that this statement is false, I need to pick values for a and b that would disprove this statement. For example, if I pick a equal pi, okay, and b equal pi over 2. I'm going to first of all work out sine a plus b. Or well, sine a plus b is equal to sine pi plus pi over 2, which is sine 3 pi over 2. But I know that sine 3 pi over 2 is minus 1. Okay, so that's the value of sine in bracket a plus b. Let's work out the value of sine a plus sine b. Okay, so sine a plus sine b is equivalent to sine pi plus sine pi over 2. Okay, I know what sine pi is. Well, sine pi is just 0. Plus, sine pi over 2 is just 1. And 0 plus 1 is 1. Okay? Hence, I can conclude that sine a plus b is not equal to sine a plus sine b. There you have it. Okay? And that there completes question number one. Let's have a look at question two. Over here, I have sine in bracket x plus pi over 6 is equal to p sine x plus q cos x. Find the value of p and q respectively. Okay, so what I need to do first of all is start off with sine in bracket x plus pi over 6, expand it using the addition formula for sine a plus b. So I'm going to do that.
Now using the expansion over here, I get sine x cos pi over 6 plus cos x sine pi over 6. Okay, so I've got sine x cos pi over 6 plus cos x sine pi over 6. What I need to do is make sure my calculator is on radian mode and after that all I need to do is input cos pi over 6. So if I do that now, cos pi over 6, that gives me square root 3 over 2. So I've got square root 3 over 2 sine x. Okay, now I'm going to input sine pi over 6. Okay, so sine pi over 6 is a half, so plus a half cos x. Now that there is off the form p sine x plus q cos x. So now I can read off the value of p and q. So p is equal to square root 3 over 2 and q is equal to 1 over 2. And that there completes question number 2. Let's have a look at question 3 now. So question 3 says cos y is equal sine in bracket x plus y. Show that tan y is equal sec x minus tan x. A tasty question, a very tasty question, ladies and gents. So I want to taste this question. First of all, I start off with my starter, which is cos y equals sine in bracket x plus y. That's my starter. It looks delicious. That's my starting statement. So I start off with cos y equals sine in bracket x plus y. Now I say to myself, OK, what would be my natural first step? Well, I can see sine in bracket x plus y. So maybe I need to expand this using sine a plus b. So I'm going to do that. I get sine x cos y plus cos x sine y. Okay, so that's looking beautiful so far, people. Okay, not too bad, guys. Now, I need to say to myself, well, how do I get a tan y and tan x in this particular equation? Well, I need to divide by something very juicy in order to get a tan x and tan y in this equation. And that juicy thing that I'm going to divide by, ladies and gents, is just cos x cos y. Okay? So, the first term, which is cos y, divided by cos x cos y, will just, will just give me 1 over cos x equal sine x cos y divided by cos x cos y well the cos y's will cancel and sine x over cos x is tan x okay not too bad so far guys we can do this cos x sine y divided by cos x cos y well cos x will cancel sine y over cos y is tan y right this is looking amazing by dividing by cos x cos y, I now have a sec x in my equation as well, which I needed. 1 over cos x is sec x. So sec x is equal tan x plus tan y. Okay, now I can make tan y the subject in order to obtain the following. Tan y equal to sec x minus tan x. And that there is the desired equation that I needed, okay? And it completes the question. If you found this video tutorial useful, guys, please don't forget to subscribe.